Hi everybody, I am going to show you how to draw this confetti kitty. Yay! It's very easy to do. What you need is a piece of paper, some Crayola markers, you probably had these from school, and if someone at home will let you use a Sharpie, but these are permanent, so don't get them on anything. Otherwise, you can just use your regular Crayola marker. So first of all, get a piece of paper and a pencil. I am going to draw in marker though, so you can see it, because a pencil doesn't show up very well. But you draw first in pencil, okay? So you take your piece of paper and the first thing you're gonna do is draw a big circle in pencil. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it doesn't need to be perfect. Next, a cat has two ears. So if you notice, the ears look like triangles, but they're kind of rounded. When you're drawing with your pencil, I would draw kind of light. If you draw too dark and you need to erase, it's gonna be hard to erase. So remember, I'm drawing with this, but you're going to draw with a pencil. Okay, next, every cat needs a, a nose. So go in the middle of the circle and just draw a curved line. Then a cat's nose is kind of like an upside down triangle, but we're gonna curve it in a little bit and make it more like a T. Then you're gonna go at the top of the nose and you're gonna make an arch this way and another one this way. And if I'm going too fast, you just hit the pause button. Then you go back up to the arch and you make two circles underneath the arch. Those are the cat's big eyes. Inside the eyes, you're gonna make two footballs like this. See how that looks like a cat eye? And then inside of the pupil, you're gonna make a white circle. Now when you color this later, I'll color it now, but when you color this later, you're gonna leave that white dot. That looks like white light. Okay, reflected light, and it makes the eyes really come alive. Then go down to the bottom of the nose, and you're gonna make a J this way, and then a backwards J, like a fish hook. Okay, and then you're gonna add the chin. And the side of the cat. Now, if you notice, I made it kind of fluffy, because this is how you're going to make it fluffy. Draw on top of the lines you just drew, but instead of having them straight, make them a little bit jagged. That is how you turn the cat into a fluffy cat. Even the ears. Now you're using your pencil. I'm, st I'm using my marker. And then we add some zigzags in the ear. Okay, good. So now take your marker, you can't really see this, but I have it traced very lightly. Take your marker, your black marker, remember you can use one of these, and you're just gonna trace over the lines you wanna keep. If you make the line straight, your cat's gonna look like it has short fur, but if you make it jagged, it's gonna look like it has longer fur. So trace in the lines you want. And this is getting the cat ready to add the color. The color is the most fun part. Now on my farm, I have about 10 cats. And some cats are tame and love to be pet, and some do not. And maybe in a little bit, I can go out and show you some of our cats. So then color in the black of the eye. But that's really the only black we're gonna use. Tracing it out and using the marker to color the black of the eye. Now, a cat normally isn't wild colors, but we are gonna make ours wild colors. So let's look at this cat again. Okay. So we're gonna use all of our colors, except do not color with black and do not color with gray or brown. Let's try to avoid those colors. 
So take these colors, black, gray, and brown, and take them away. And now comes the fun part. You can color your kitty however you want. I recommend starting with maybe some yellow because it's a lighter color. And just start coloring however you want to color your kitty. And they're all going to turn out different. If you want to try to mix some of your markers, you can do that. Just be careful if you use yellow on top of a lot of colors, it makes your marker dirty. So then you can add some blue. You could color it the same on both sides and make it symmetrical, or you could make it not symmetrical. Give it a pink nose. If you don't like it, just keep coloring and just see how it turns out. You could put some patterns in there. Sometimes like cats have these little dots. And I just want you to color the whole thing. So this is how my kitty turned out. So that's one example. And then let me show you another. My daughter did this one earlier and hers turned out very different than mine. But they're both wonderful. So I hope you had fun. And if you do this, I would like to see what you drew. And so make sure you post it. Thanks.